Oh, absolutely incredible. Oh. Yeah. Well, when I first came in and saw the Spitfire, uh, I was really back home and I was ready to get into it. I know it sounds silly at my age, but it's one of those urges that never leaves you. Which you put the flaps down when you're coming into land. Those are the what they call the ailerons. There's lots of things that will come out of this. We hope that the children will learn some skills of being journalists, of interviewing somebody for, who's been in things that they've never experienced. It will aid their understanding of what actually happened in World War II um, to get a bigger picture of how the war, Second World War, affected so many people over the world. Isn't that wonderful? Does anyone recognise this one? My role is to help prepare the children, interview former Spitfire pilot Brian Bird, and I'm here to help them prepare questions, learn how to interview, and, and basically give them some historical background as well so that they really understand what this man has been through and, and know what to ask him. Why did you join the RAF? Did you get to see many different countries? What was your training like? What was your first time in action like and how did you feel? Um, how did it feel to fly Spitfire? Was there a situation where you felt, I'm not going to make it? I think I knew the children could do it. I didn't know how well they would do it. So I think, yeah, I've been very encouraged by, by what's happened and the way it's happened. And I think, you know, it's been a fabulous day for everybody. It's been a real success. What's it like to stand next to a Spitfire again? It's one of the things that uh, I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, it brings back many, many memories of the days when I was a 19, 20-year-old and I was flying the Spitfire every day of my life. And it's, it, it is an experience you never forget. I think showing kids how writing and the arts and journalism are relevant to their lives by bringing someone who has a truly amazing story to share. I, I couldn't think of a better project and I really hope that, that this kind of um, collaborative effort um, can, can continue in schools.